The railroad tank car fire training project is designed to simulate situations that could occur while loading or unloading either general purpose or pressurized rail cars at the loading rack. Fire and spill problems include open dome fires, overfills, loading line leaks, and flame separations. Associated with this project are two sets of pumps with multiple leak sources which can be liquid or propane gas and a compressor with a pressurized propane leak. Welcome to Texas A&M Project 46. Real car. How many first timers we have here at A&M? How many folks have never fought an industrial fire before? Okay. So that's what this is about. This is for training. Okay. Would rather do our learning here than whenever we get on an actual scene. All of the instructors that's on this project has been sitting right where you've been sitting. Okay. So there's a enormous amount of knowledge at this school. There's no stupid or dumb questions. Nobody's going to make fun of you on this project. So if you have a question, ask a question. We're here to help you and we want to leave Friday morning with a 1081 certificate, correct? Yes, sir. So I'm going to go over a few little safety issues that we have out here. How are we going to start a, a monitor? What position are we going to start it? And you have to have what in order to start it? So we have a unique situation here. That monitor over there, you cannot do that. That's where all our fuel lines are running. And we're going to have a fire here. We don't want to fire over there. Okay. We can't start that one straight up. When you go across the walkway here, other than racking the hose back up, full PPE. Every piece of PPE that you have, wear it. Because that's what it was designed for, to protect you. Okay? Railroad tracks. Don't stand on the cross ties. Don't go in between the cross ties. Don't stand on the railroad track. When that gets wet over there, that hose slides really, 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 really good on that on that uh, railroad track. So hopefully by the end of the day today, you'll be able to all be on the same page. I'm going to use a scenario. This is just a scenario. David and I work together, but we don't like each other. When he sees me coming, he turns the other way. When I see him coming, I turn the other way. If anybody's got a problem with anybody here, you better put it behind you because you'll fail tomorrow. We gotta work as a team, everybody talk to everybody, communicate, help each other, okay? If you have a problem with an inductor or a fire extinguisher or you don't know, learn it, okay? I see, who knows? If you hadn't been to IC this week, you might be IC tomorrow. You need to learn all your positions because who knows, when I open that packet up and read the assignments, what you're gonna get. Joe said the other day, you know, Murphy's Law, I don't like the inductor. Well, guess what? Open it up. I got the inductor. Make sure you know all of your techniques on all your equipment, okay? Help each other out. Make sure that everybody works together as a team. Lindsay's going to be your IC. We got some guys that don't like to work with women. Come tomorrow, you better put all that behind you. You got to have a portable monitor. You got to have foam. And the Achilles heel of 1081 is a fire extinguisher. Okay. Once we get the project going, whenever you push that fire in that pit to the front of that car, there's going to be some little lazy fire around there. Take the fire extinguisher and put it out. Okay. We've got a unique situation here. We've got two pumps in a containment with hydrocarbon. And guess what? we got to go in and block the valves. So, we've got to use foam. If you put down a beautiful foam pattern, what breaks it up? Water. Water. So most probably when you get out there, before you get all the lines laid out and everything, you're going to have a fixed monitor, putting cooling and everything, maybe a portable monitor. So whenever you get your hand lines established and you start making your advance on the problems, it would be a good idea to cut those off, okay? Because all of that water raining down, you can spend all the foam on this field, you can't put it out, okay? So <clears throat> isolate your points. This one, this one, and this one. Don't try to do them all at the same time. It won't work, okay? Make sure you got a good foam blanket and we'll go in and, and we'll block them in. The last tip I'm gonna tell you, okay? Lindsay's the IC. I'm gonna give you an overview of what's going on and everything and ask questions and all that. <clears throat> She's gonna make the assignments. You're gonna be the spotter, you're gonna be the monitor, you're gonna be on the foam inductor, you're gonna be on the fire extinguisher. But 
while she's doing that, y'all are putting on your pants, putting on your coat, got your helmet, gonna go take a smoke, you know. And when you go to cross over, Lindsay, what am I gonna do? Don't know, don't have a clue. That's all. That's already gone. It'll help you a lot for whoever the IC is. When they're up here talking, stay sit. This isn't a timed event thing here, okay? It's not time. Make sure you get all the instructions, everything from her. Chief Martinez will be up here with her. If you've got questions that she can't answer, Benny's gonna help you. Tomorrow, when I open that seal packet and bring it out, there's no more questions. We can't give you anything, okay? Today is the day to ask questions.